Hey guys, welcome to the top percentile. My name is Harsh. Uh, I secured a 99.9 in percentile in CT 2020 and an all in a rank four in that exam. Well, in today's video, we are going to try and help our friends and students who are finding the quant section to be very difficult. And, uh, you know, honestly, a lot of my mentees, a lot of people who are coming to us at the top percentile, the people I've interacted with about 70 to 80 or maybe even 90% usually say that cons is the most difficult topic for them. So today we are going to try and understand what things you need to be doing to shift cons from your weakest section to your strongest section. Uh, so my first advice would be that just remove it from here, okay? The more you think that cons is your weakest section, I don't think you will be able to improve. Step number one, you have to take your remarks to cons are difficult hai. Every day before sleeping in the night, give some affirmations to yourself. I'm good at cons. I will be better at cons. One day, I will be the best at cons. Give this affirmation to yourself every day before sleeping at night. And that will bring a positive change in your mindset at least towards approaching cons. Or approach kaise karna hai, wo batane ke liye, of course, we are over here to help you out. So to understand cons section in MBA CT, um, <clears throat> let me first start off by the 2020 pattern because that is a bit easier to understand. So 2020 pattern mein kya hota hai? Cons or DI section are clubbed together. There are 50 questions. 20 questions are usually DI and 30 questions are usually cons. Is 30 questions ke cohort mein from the cons section, there are four different topics that Four different topics, four different subsections that you will encounter. The first one is approximations. Then you have number series, you have data comparisons, and then you have arithmetic. Okay. So let me first of all tell you the top three easiest ones that you definitely have to solve. So those would be approximations, number series, and uh, data comparisons. Now approximations. So approximations, what do you do? It's only calculations. Aapko ek question diya hoga, just mein there'll be different numbers or different operations. But aapko self calculate karna hai. Now, how do you ace this particular type of question? Is that you practice calculations every day. So, isme kya karna hai aapko? There are a few things that you have to say out loud every day in the morning, whenever you are brushing, taking a bath, drinking tea, coffee, milk, whatever. Okay. So, aapko simple karna hai. Tables from 1 to 20, squares from 1 to 30, cubes from 1 to 12. Factorials from 1 to 10 factorial and fractions from 1 to uh, 1 by 20. I'm sure that if you have seen a few of my other videos, I have this a lot of repeat ki hai. But please try and understand, I'm repeating it in every single video is because calculations will be the game changer for the QADI section. Okay? So first of all, approximations, you will get a simple questions. Usme. And if you want to ask these type of questions in the quickest time possible, you have to practice calculations. Now, the second thing is going to be number series. So number series, mein kya hota hai? there'll be three, four numbers given to, you, given to you. And then the fifth number would be a blank. Okay. For example, one, two, four, then blank. Is mein kya? This is two raised to zero, two raised to one, two raised to two, and two raised to three. The answer is going to be eight. Okay. You could have also looked at it like one into two, two into two, four into two. So four into two, the answer is, is going to be eight. So Number series B, easy hai. Usme kabhi gawa thode tricky questions aa jati hai. Now it depends on how quickly you're able to identify these tricky questions because wo hume avoid karna hai. But otherwise, number series as an entire, as, in to as a topic in its entirety, it's not very difficult. Usme basic calculations hi hote hai. Plus, minus, multiply, divide, squares, cubes, and uh, square roots sometimes. Things like that, okay. So not very difficult if you practice a few of these question types which come under number series, then you will get intuitive, intuitive answers towards, you know, how to solve a number series as a topic. The third would be data comparison. So, you know, data comparison, arithmetic, I would like to take it together. So, what is data comparison? You have know, A or B, two questions in that single question. And A, if you solve, you'll get an answer. B, if you solve, you'll get an answer. Now, you have to compare if A is greater, greater than B or A is uh, lesser than B and things like that, okay? So the difference between arithmetic and data comparison is that usually in data comparison, speaking very generally, the question size will be much smaller than that of an arithmetic question. Arithmetic mein kabhi gaar kya hai? will be given paragraphs, so ek pura paragraph diya hoga, four or five sentences, and then you have to solve it. Data comparison mein nahi hota. Usually it's only a single line or maximum two lines. 
and there will be a lot of easier questions like quadratic equations usme to kitne direct tricks hai a lot of things that we have discussed in our course also so these three topics primarily approximations number series and data comparisons if you are weak in cons these are the three things that you have to improve first because agar ye aa gaya in the exam fir to aapko marks lene se koi nahi rok sakta aapko wo marks pakka aa jayenge provided you practice it now coming to the second part which is arithmetic so arithmetic i would agree that for a lot of people it is difficult but please trust me on this when i say the arithmetic of mba ct is not as difficult as you know it might sound it is not as difficult as cat yahan pe catch wahi hai ki level of difficulty is lesser but speed with which you need to solve to get a good rank is going to be higher okay so first of all aap ye bhul jao ki mujhe cons nahi aata because yahan ka cons is very simple agar aapne 10th pass kiya agar aapne 12th pass kiya hai to cons aap pakka solve kar paoge now the only difference is that how you are practicing and that is where the next few couple of minutes maybe 3 minutes i'm going to spend uh, for you to understand how you have to practice cons in your daily life so sabse pehle to aapko calculations karne hi hai this is compulsory for everyone who is watching this video starting from today you have to start practicing calculations every morning or every night jab bhi aapko time mile ek ek fix time set kar lo every day at that particular time you are going to start practicing calculations step number 2 is first of all write down all the topics that you want to cover okay so we, if we are on step number 2 let me also quickly share my screen and tell you what are topics we have covered in uh, our course and these are all the most relevant topics जिसके ऊपर ये 30 में से अराउंड 20 क्वेश्चंस आते रहेंगे इन सो परसेंटेजेस लीनियर इक्वेशंस प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस टाइम एंड वर्क क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस एसआईसीआई सिंपल इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट देन वी हैव अप्रोक्सिमेशंस नंबर्स नंबर सीरीज प्रोग्रेशन लॉग्स रेशियो प्रपोर्शन टाइम स्पीड डिस्टेंस परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन एंड समिंग so these are very relevant to ct or isme se hi usually questions aate rehte hain if you see this is our qa di wala section that's why you'll see di advanced uh, di basics and then uh, approximations and all will also help you in uh, di again so yeah so this was what the list of topics a few list of topics likh lo every day okay if you are weak in cons every day pick one topic and then you read the theory of it from any particular book that you have then you watch some videos on it if you have subscribed to our course you watch the video of that particular topic then you solve some topic tests or some exercises which are given behind the book okay now this is your phase 1 of practice this is when you are introducing yourself to that particular topic so pehle aap karoge you will read the book you will read the theory then you will watch the videos and then you will solve the exercises okay once this is done when you solve the exercise you will identify that yeah yaar ye thodi cheeze hai मुझे अभी भी नहीं समझ रही है दैट इज वेन यू गो बैक टू द बुक जस्ट यू नो रिफ्रेश दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ मेमोरी जो आपको नहीं समझ आ रहा है एंड वंस दैट इज आप क्या करोगे सेक्शनल टेस्ट में क्या है सेक्शनल टेस्ट में लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ कॉन्स विल कम टूगेदर सो नाउ इट्स टेस्टिंग की अगर आपको वो टॉपिक जो आपने तीन चार दिन पहले पढ़ा था वो भी आपको आज याद रखेंगे four to five different topics after that particular one so sectional test again thode thode time pe aap dete raho and mocks at least once a week to do now that ct is going to be in august so if you are watching this like two three uh, months before ct or maybe one month before ct at least one mock every day you have to give uh, sorry at least one mock every week you have to give not every day if you are watching it uh, you know uh, not in the last few uh, weeks like you know if you are watching it in two three uh, two three weeks prior to ct then you start giving one mock every alternate day but otherwise one mock every week is a good pace to set okay so the order goes like read theory watch the videos uh, solve some topic tests and uh, exercises which are given behind uh, your book once that is done you progress to the sectional test and then in the mocks you have to apply everything that you have learned and this is going to be a iterative process of learning आपने थोड़ा सीखा आप थोड़ा भूल भी जाओगे यू हैव टू गो बैक टू इट यू हैव टू रिवाइज इट एंड दिस इज व्हेन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विल कम इनटू पिक्चर इट्स कॉल्ड द माइटी फार्मूला बुक व्हिच विल रियली हेल्प यू सो जस्ट टू मोटिवेट यू ऑल आई हैव गॉट माय फार्मूला बुक ओवर हियर इफ यू सी इधर आई थिंक आई हैव लॉस्ट द फ्यू फ्रंट पेजेस ओवर हियर बट इट स्टार्ट्स विद द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड देन इट जस्ट गोस ऑन ओके नाउ 
I'm not trying to show off, okay? I'm not trying to show off. But if you see, this is not a small book. This formula book, I have made a lot of effort. And it contains all the topics of cons that are very relevant to CET. And its key, these all the formulas are. These are my very hard work in CET. I wish I would have done this during CAT also. Then my CAT score would have also been brilliant. But you know, it's a learning curve. You learn after a point of time. So CAT से मैंने सीखा कि formula book मुझे बहुत काम आएगी because I understood कि मैं भूल जाता हूँ चीजें. So what I did is after that when I was revising any topic, so when I was telling you to read theory and watch the videos simultaneously, you have to create this formula book for every per each and every topic. Okay. In this formula book, you are going to write all different types of cases that can come. All different formulas that you encounter for that particular topic, and after that, what I want to do, what I want you to do is, every week, read this formula book at least twice, at least two times. Okay, in the gap of three days. So if Monday you are reading, then read it on Thursday also. But every week you have to read it twice. Only then, after two months or so, or after one month or so, you will start remembering all these things. So that was about formula book. तो ये तो आपका प्रैक्टिस वाला पार्ट हो गया ठीक है और ये अलॉट ऑफ पीपल आफ्टर वॉचिंग टूडेज वीडियो अलॉट ऑफ पीपल आई एम श्योर विल एटलीस्ट इम्प्लीमेंट दीज थिंग्स नाउ वॉट इज गोइंग टू डिफ्रेंशिएट द टॉपर्स फ्रॉम एवरी वन एल्स इज हाउ यू सॉल्व ओके कॉन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी द बेस्ट इन कॉन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रियली स्कोर गुड इन सी टी यू हैव टू ट्राई एंड सॉल्व थिंग्स ओरली इनिशियली इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज पेन एंड पेपर के साथ भी सॉल्व करना डिफिकल्ट है एंड कंसिडरिंग के Right now, I'm talking to people who are considering themselves as weak in cons. It's a long shot, okay? So, first, you phase one, phase two, only things. Finish them, and then phase three. What you are going to do is you are going to solve things orally. For this, whenever you are practicing, not a mock, okay? When you are doing normal practice, any questions before using your pen and paper, you are going to think. Okay, you are going to think. 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 You are going Once you do that over over some period of time, you will become much more comfortable with these mental models, and you will be much more adapt to solving questions in cons. Okay, because the thing is, if you start solving things orally, pen and paper के साथ बहुत simple हो जाएगा बस मतलब उसके बाद तुम champ बन जाओगे, and that's what you are aiming for uh, in the con section. Okay, so yeah, these were the few things that will definitely help you in improving your score in cons. and the only aim you have to keep in mind is that you have to be the best version of yourself in cons as much as possible and trust me tumhare paas time hai you can definitely fix your cons start working today start working from right now create the list of topics assign one topic to each day and start doing start reading things start watching the videos start making the formula work start giving topic tests start giving sectional tests start giving mocks and you will see the difference okay so yes with that uh, we'll end today's video and i really hope that it's going to help you a lot if there are any other queries you want to ask me you can definitely drop a uh, drop in the comment i'll try and respond as soon as possible and yes we'll uh, end the video with that so keep hustling and i'll see you in some other video best of luck and let's crack mba ct together let's go